It takes what you would learn in a classroom and distributes that all over the world. It gives you a perspective of what you're learning. The fact that we're in a city doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to be able to comprehend or process all that we experience. You can't just learn about Russia from course content or videos or talking to people from there. You have to go. We're out of the bus. We're in the city. We're in the shops. We're actually encouraged to talk to people. This program is tough and it's robust. I think it breaks all the molds regarding executive MBA programs. It's very intense on, on one front, but I think it's very, very rewarding because you're spending time with brilliant people with very diverse backgrounds. While you go to several regions, the outtake is very global. So at no point are you just seeing a country for the sake of looking at that particular country. You're always looking at the country in the context of other countries and connecting the dots. One of the things that concerned me prior to my application to Fuqua was that I did not want to get into a program that was essentially corporate tourism. Drop you in into a new environment, show you some nice sites and some business buildings and, and then go to a classroom, learn uh, the mechanics of whatever the, the, the coursework is and then leave. Quite to the contrary of that, we're not dropped in without specific tools that we've been given, frameworks to un of understanding a new culture, a new business, a new society. The academics are very, very real. <laughs> well, it's very intensive, the residency is very intensive, uh, it requires a lot of preparation. When you come to the program, you should come ready. The faculty is second to none. You've got thought leaders in any given industry, the very best, giving you instruction on any given topic. Anything that, that looks like it may support the academics that we're engaged in at the time, Duke does a very good job of having our class interact with as many leaders of consequence out in uh, that country that we can get. Guest speakers, I think, really help to connect you to the region. They help ingrain a little bit more in your head why the things that are going on in the region are going on in terms of business and, and innovations. You get a very wide spectrum of the types of people you meet, and you're able to piece different stories together from them. You really get a very nice perspective from them, and I think they put a big effort into coming into the room to try and teach you something and add value, and they always do. You learn it in your classroom, and then you go for a corporate tour and then you see it right there. The corporate tours in the different residencies really allow us to see firsthand how business is done. They're the ones where you can actually say, I'm gonna go see a business. I'm gonna go see what business is like there. They help you see and contextualize even more the business environment that's going on. The corporate tours were a great complement to the cultural tours. The cultural tours, you understand how a society works. What, are, what is the DNA of that society? But the corporate tours, allow you to see how that DNA plays out every day in a very practical business environment, which is why we're in business school. It's so gratifying to be able to, to apply every single thing that you're learning in class, in the day-to-day, -day, where you're working, but also to your classmates, you help each other. 
I think the entire curriculum and the, the sort of model of this program is built around team. Teamwork was exceptional. One of the things that when you come into a program like this is that it humbles you in the sense that you find such an amount of people with the same or higher caliber of what you have that it makes actually more challenging to work with the team. It is probably the best real life simulation of what you can expect after an MBA. What we did in Dubai in terms of doing a case study of a local, in fact, a big company and look into their problems and present to them was very valuable. The people directly involved came to the group to determine how uh, we would solve their problems. And these problems aren't just uh, theoretical, they're real-time, real-world problems. So the case was presented and the class given the opportunity to compete for what would be deemed as the best answer. Here's the problem you have two days. Now uh, we want that you come up with your proposals. This experience was one of the most valuable of the residencies uh, because we knew that it is not just an uh, maybe case uh, which was written 15 years ago, it's a real time problem. Having the management coming and talking to us and giving us a perspective and coaching us through the process and then having the opportunity to present our perspective was a great experience. How often does one get an opportunity to have questions fired at them in a safe academic environment by people who are Fortune 500 executives, Global 1000 executives, high-ranking executives? That's an experience that you don't get every day. The culture that is a little bit challenging in the beginning for us to adopt because that's uh, going out of our comfort zone to talk with the people on the street and asking the questions, especially with some areas that you have uh, language barriers. The culture dash is when you hit the ground running with your team and you set out to see what a culture is really about, what the people that you meet on the streets, you interview them and you try to see, do they really care about family first? Do they really save for the future? You actually get a chance to speak to these people and see what, what, what and how they think. It was a really interesting exercise because it not only caused us to extend ourselves, but I think it caused us to start thinking about culturally, what does it mean actually to interact with somebody? It's a good way to kind of bridge your education that you're getting in that area to actually go out and, and see something that's, that's actually happening there. Instead of just having class in the region, this allows you to go out there and kind of experience more the culture, understand more what's going on. The Culture Dashes became my favorite part of the program. They are the things that I think embedded us in the region the most because you're just walking around, looking at all the sites, really getting into the city that you're in, and you're just talking to random people. You're talking to cab drivers, you're talking to a little old lady coming out of a library. It's not just you observing, now you're actively listening and you're actively learning from these people. You bring your questions to the table that you think are relevant and they may say, no, we need to go on this entire path, this is what's important. So it is definitely a more social take. Without that, you don't get the context that you need to understand some of the things you're learning in the classroom. When you're there in the country, you speak to people. That's one of the first touch points. You see how the entire system works. That's the second touch point. Then you speak to business leaders. That's your third touch point. And I think those touch points help you draw your own perspectives. It gives you a perspective of the world. Um, not just the areas that you visit, but your classmates give you a perspective too. I am more capable, I am more confident in my abilities, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what else is there. Because I, uh, and, and working with my classmates, working with uh, my colleagues to, to build and create uh, a better world. You can be in Durham and you can study China and you can study Dubai and you can study Delhi. When you go there, it's so much richer and I think it connects so much better and it embeds itself in your brain better. It's really the combination of the academics and the integration into the local culture and society and seeing things from their angle and again, through their filters as well, that, that makes that difference. You step away and you feel like you have a perspective of what's happening on a global level. 
and it's not just lip service. You're actually experiencing what it feels like to work in the West, in the East, in the Middle East. And I think every one of us walks away feeling much more globally enriched. It's made me into a better person. And it's given me world-class education with world-class educators. For me, the people in this program, this was the first time where I feel like I just completely fit in. I've made some of my closest friends on the planet who I know will be with me for the rest of my life. I see people differently. Not only do I feel that I understand my classmates and, and their background, but I also feel that I understand more the, the culture. My daughter explained uh, my change far more better. She just said, uh, you listen to me more now. So I, I think that's the, that's the key.